Hey, this is Lexi, and we need to talk. I was having a conversation with someone the other day about how I'm in the process of working with this new artist and how I wanted to bring on a friend to help me with the project. I was telling the person how this new project and this new artist is paying and how the artist is label affiliated, how we'd be creating a new sound for her and how excited I was to be living my dream of writing for people and helping people with their music. In the midst of this conversation, however, I was showing the artist and her journey, what she used to do, and explained how we would be helping her now. Well, the person I was speaking with started getting apprehensive and judgmental about the artist, then asked, well, what's in it for me? What? <laughs> as soon as my friend asked that, I started having doubts about bringing this person onto the, onto the project to work with me. To me, that showed a closed mind, which I hate for anybody to reveal to me. I hate when people close themselves from doing what they say they love because they're not sure what's gonna be in it for them. So remember a time when you weren't doing what you love? Remember when you had to work that job you didn't like because what you love wasn't yet making enough money for you to be doing it full time? Now you have the opportunity to do what you love and get paid for it, yet you're still wondering, what's in it for me? I wanted to speak on this topic because there seems to be a lot of people out there who are always worried about what's in it for them. Now, not feeling like doing something, to me, is different. It's cool if you're tired and you don't feel like doing it right now because you need to recharge before taking on something new. But when you don't do something ever because you're not sure what it does for you, you're stopping yourself from getting a foot in the door. And with me, at least, it makes me not want to work with you in the future on projects because in the moment that you expressed you didn't know what was in it for you, you just told me that you're not sure that what you do is good enough to get some attention on its own. You're not sure that the sheer action of having done it and having it put out, whether it's being promoted by the artist or not, is enough for you. So now you're sitting here talking about how you're not sure if it's going to do anything for you. And in the meantime, you're not getting anything done. I have a real issue with people who don't want to do something because they're not sure how it benefits them. To me, that shows an inability to see the positives of a situation, and I'm a very positive person. Um, I spoke in another video about finding the positives in your regular job and looking for qualities in what you do in that regular job that are helping you to develop skills you need for your passion. What's in it for me? What's in it for you? You get the opportunity to do what you love, you're getting paid to do what you love if you're lucky enough to get paid. One more person knows what you do, and if they like what you do, they'll tell other people who will come looking for you to do what you did for their friend. Word of mouth is still the most powerful marketing tool. The way you handle this situation, how professional you are, how well you do the work, is your marketing strategy for getting new clients. Friends of clients can be your clients too. That means more business for you. The person you're servicing, you don't know who they are. You don't know who they know. So doing the work for this one person, as I said, will increase your visibility to other people and put you on the radar for more work to find you. That's how you get put on. If you wanna know what's in it for you, that's how you get put on. So if you're worried about what's in it for you, you already don't have a big enough vision for yourself and how well you could be doing because in your mind, you don't wanna do it because you don't see the immediate benefit of it. I really need some of you to change your attitudes like ASAP. This makes me so mad anytime I hear people making an excuse as to why they can't or may not want to do something. Just do it and then see what happens. If you keep refusing work because you don't know what's gonna come from it, that's the point. You're building content. You're making a track record for yourself. So when you do get someone who is interested in paying you for your work, they can Google you and see what you've done. But if you're refusing opportunities that come to you, that means you don't have any public work to show for it. You can tell someone for hours, for days, for months, how good you are at what you do, but if you don't have anything to show for it, and in an industry that's client-based, you don't have anything that's been put forth in the public eye to be judged publicly and get a general consensus of how good your work is, in an industry that's client-based, you're just all talk at that point. You talk too much, that's all I see. You talk too much, but you need to get to work. And one last thing I wanna leave with you, and I want you to keep this in your heart, keep it in your mind. 
It is not your job to think about what the next person can do for you if you're getting paid for a job. It's not your job to think about what the next person can do for you. They're already paying you. That's what they're doing for you. It is your job to do the best damn job you can to make sure that after that person has left, they'll have no desire whatsoever to want to work with anyone else but you because what you did for them was amazing. I want you to think about that. If you really are good at what you do and you're putting your best foot forward and you're giving it all you've got no matter who the person is, no matter what they can do for you, no matter what the immediate benefit is, you're gonna be fine. But you gotta do the work. Stop worrying about what's in it for you and just do it. Because eventually, what's in it for you is more clients, more notoriety, more attention, whatever it is you're looking for. Eventually what you want, you will have, but you have to put in the work. You gotta be in it. Don't ask anybody else what's in it for you. Ask yourself, if I do this, is my craft getting better? It's a, it's a chance to practice your craft. That's all it really is. So that's the last little piece I wanna leave with you. I'm Lexi, peace.